hours of the morning, residents of Maina, UOG students, business sponsors, and some public leaders joined forces to clear out bamboo debris and litter at the Maina Bridge that have since caused blockage of the natural flow of the Funti River. Maina resident Senator Sam Mabini led the cleanup. We felt, and I felt, that, um, that we needed to take a, a step to work together to address a, um, something that's happening in our village. According to Mabini, it surprised her as to what was collected, including tires, car parts, blankets, pest control containers, baby car seats, and bagged animal carcasses. It's very iconic, and I felt that this is something that we as a village needed to put together, um, um, a task force, a group, to, to tackle it. And I know our government is kind of short on funds, so why couldn't we do it? The group was able to load two dump trucks filled with bamboo debris and a truckload of trash. She adds, through the cleanup, the Department of Agriculture noted that its current condition posed hazardous impacts to the flow of the river, possibly damaging the asphalt surface of the road, along with preventing fish and shrimp from making its way up the river. So the next step is to get um, um, a heavy excavator, a, a big excavator, to help actually pull out all the bamboo so that the river can be clean, and then to create a bridge watch program to keep an eye on the bridge, let people know that this is something that we, we value, we treasure. It is iconic. It is the White Lady Bridge. I think every local kid person knows where that it's um, you know, someplace that we like to go visit. And if you haven't visited there, you should go visit. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. For this week's Think Green, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Think Green is presented by...